Hello. I will talk about the method that I used to make the, the dog uh, run smoother in the Hesimoth. Uh, and uh, this is um, an old ancient model uh, technique that uh, was used uh, for many people long time ago. That is the soap bar. It's like this. Uh, a bar of blue soap, the natural soap that uh, our grandmother and father used to use. Uh, and uh, it's an ancient uh, because this always was used as a lubricant. So uh, to wood work, um, if you take a screw and you try to screw it into the, the wood and uh, it's hard to, to screw and you put uh, the screw against the, the, the soap, uh, it will be lubricated and it will screw uh, smoother. And uh, also, who doesn't remember the, um, the ring that uh, the people uh, that especially in the old times that they they marry they marry too early and then the rings they, they get fatter and the the rings and uh, they get stuck and they they can't uh, take off the rings so people usually use soap to help to lubricate and help to take off the rings so that's an example about uh, a method that uh, it's a null method, it's nothing new. What is kind of new is to use this in the rocker, in the, um, the Dobsonian. And that, to be fair, uh, I learned in uh, the Cloudy Nights forum, uh, where I saw for the first time uh, talking about using soap. And it make, made sense to me. So, uh, since then, I always use this simple method, nice method, and very, very effective method to make the, the dog run smooth in the azimuth. So, it's indicated if you have too much pressure and friction, and you want to release a little, I know you have already the knob, the azimuth knob, but sometimes to get a professional and flawless um, rotation of the base, it's um, needed something else. And this is the, the, the answer. So I, I will show you what I do. So what we have here is the soap a bit of water and regular water of course and um, the the rocker now this is a different base i have here the base of the rocker my base it's the the top of the equatorial mount uh, equatorial platform so but it is the same for you if you have the traditional round uh, uh, base or a, a triangle it's the same you just have to take it off take the the azimuth knob off and uh, and take the the base apart and then you put the soap and put back again uh, everything which is super easy so i don't need to do that i just turn around it's a, an advantage an advantage and uh, I, I just, as you can see, this is a little white because it, it's from the, the last time I did it. To be honest, I don't need to do it now, but uh, I, I decided to do it for the demo. Um, so I, I will put just a little, but you can put more uh, in, the, in the, the place where the Teflon pads pass. So, 
the, the purpose of this is to make this circle where the, the pads go, make this smoother. So what I do, I do this way, just a little bit of water, just a little bit, and then I know it comes from here, and I do like this, you know, super easy. I just do like this. I put a little in the holes of the of the the, the screws of the rocker to allow to be easier when the pad the Teflon passes through through them. And then I just do like this. See? Super easy. Just a little. Okay. Don't I, I don't recommend to put here in the lazy Susan. This says uh, roller bearings and I don't think it's uh, uh, a nice thing to do to put so. There are other things, other products to, to put. I prefer mine is good, so I prefer to, to keep it dry and uh, it's working very well and uh, uh, in the future if uh, if I need to to put it smoother maybe I put uh, that spray uh, WD 40 I think or kind of stuff but thinking that uh, when I put the moment I put that spray it will be the moment that I will be prepared to change this for a new one because to put anything uh, any oil anything in the in the bearings it will it will help to stack and catch more more dust and that we don't want anyway so uh, I just keep this like this and just put the, the soap around the the, the the base like this you see it's white and it will be smoother you don't want to put in excess because if you put in excess it will be excessive smoother you know <laughs> so just like that and it's done so easy no so easy i will not put more because i don't need it so this lasts long this lasts for for four months maybe i don't know it depends it depends but when you feel that uh, some friction is uh, uh, was heavy uh, you check it and and just just like this i didn't have to clean because it's so white and, and clean i don't need it for, for what because this only touch the the, the teflon so uh, i will clean if i see this is uh, with with dirt i don't need it now that's it i hope you enjoy and uh, i hope this helped uh, people to to add another solution to to the, the Dobsonian mechanics and please subscribe because it's important for the channel. Thank you.